The positioning for extreme lateral inner body fusion, XLIF, is a lateral decubitus position. It is important that a radiographic compatible operative table be used for this procedure. The incisions for XLIF are marked prior to prep and draping by utilizing AP and lateral fluoroscopic imaging. The traditional incisions described by Pimenta utilize a direct lateral incision corresponding to the disc level to be approached. Based off this lateral incision by a distance of approximately one finger length, a second incision is marked at the lateral edge of the lumbar posterior paraspinal muscles. This posterior lateral incision is utilized for a finger dissection approach into the retroperitoneum. The posterior incision for bluntly developing the retroperitoneal space may also be placed within the trajectory of ipsilateral pedicle screw placement in order to perform posterior instrumentation while in the lateral decubitus position. By performing the finger dissection into the retroperitoneal space, a blunt dissector cannula may be safely passed through the lateral musculature directly into this potential space. With finger guidance, the dissector can then be positioned directly onto the lateral fibers of the psoas muscle. Utilizing fluoroscopic guidance, the disc space is visualized in relation to the dissector cannula. With the use of a live neurological hunting algorithm and the fluoroscope, the dissector is passed through the muscle onto the disc without disruption of the lumbar neural plexus. For upper lumbar L1-2 and L2-3 approaches, the retroperitoneal dissection is brought directly under the diaphragm. It may be necessary to perform the lateral approach between a lower rib inner space. Once the dissector is safely on the disc, it is secured to the disc with a guide wire. Dilation cannulas are then utilized to allow the safe placement of a dilation tube retractor. This retractor is secured to a table-mounted arm to minimize intraoperative migration. The discectomy is performed once the tube retractor is opened. Fiber optic xenon lighting is used within the retractor and visualization is often assisted with loop magnification. With the operative corridor fully visualized, any remnant psoas muscle fibers are retracted anteriorly. Interoperative neurological testing may be necessary to verify any stray nerve fibers that may overlie the lateral disc annulus. Bipolar cautery is used for all hemostasis for this procedure to minimize the risk of injury to adjacent nerve structures. A box annulotomy is then performed at the lateral annulus. A radical discectomy is completed with the use of disc shavers, pituitary rongeurs, and curettes. A contralateral annulotomy is made with a long cob elevator under fluoroscopic guidance. This annulotomy adds to ligament release for deformity correction, but also helps allow for placement of the cage directly at the annular ring of the vertebral segments. The discectomy is completed with rasping of the end plates for punctate bony bleeding to assist in the fusion process.